Hey guys, what's happening? So, I'm going through my radio stuff, and I've had this QYT uh, 7800D for probably, I think I made my first review about this like six or seven years ago. Uh, but my issue is, I mean, I never really even use this thing. It's really just for emergencies. Um, that's my name. Um, it's not a mystery who I am. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide who I am. Um, so I'm not getting no, no sound, no volume. So, um, and I can kind of hear it in the sometimes a little bit. So I don't know if it's this potentiometer up here, if that is even a pot, like a double function pot. But I am receiving. And then I just want to know, because I check this every once in a while to see what's going on. And, but I do actually have a, another one in my, in my F-250 over there. This is actually my old Bronco, 1966 Bronco. So if you're new to my channel, it's, I mess around with this truck a lot. All right, so I have it hooked up just to a CB te temporary. Let's see what happens here. I do actually have some speakers too, headphones. Yeah, just no sound at all. It was kind of, figure that. Um, else I hit some kind of, All right, um, let me hook up a, like a PA speaker, see if I can get any audio. I, what I know is, is it the actual like uh, adjuster, it's someone on the radio, or the speaker bad? All right, that is extremely odd. Actually, it's not the first time that's ever happened to me before. It's happened to me in the CD world before, probably like 20 years ago, where I actually had a bad uh, speaker jack, and it was somehow grounding out or something like that, so it was messing up the volume. So all I did was I hooked up my... Um, my little headset here, just to see it, it didn't work, but as soon as I unplugged it from the headset, it uh, came back to life. So that is interesting, but why can't I hear? Let's try a different weather. Yeah, I'm just not picking up a signal here. Um, all right, hear that though? Five to I'm gonna open it up just to blow it out and clean it up anyways. Okay, so here's a closer look inside the radio. Um, yeah, interesting. So it's like a... Is that the heat sink? Um, Alright, maybe I can trigger this. I'm actually... You know, I'll just blow it off my compressor inside here under the... I just want to make sure that it's not the pot. This farm handles comes off, but the, I need to get behind the board because the pots are there, so... Um, Alright, so this is a closer look at the volume pot. Like I said, I might have already fixed it already, but... Um, it just, I want to make sure that it's correct. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any, uh, deoxid in there. But I might be able to get it from the top. I'll maybe slightly let it run down. Um, yeah, I don't think you can see. Yeah, these are, these are basically, like, riveted together. So some of the other pots, there's, like, a little hole you can get some fluid in there sometimes. But, I mean, unless you have the de I'm not going to desolder it, though. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to put it past the jack, because I've actually had that happen before. So... It just, I don't know, I never used it, so I don't think I even used it one time, so it's possible, but it seems, to me, it seems like it'd be more likely this pot or some kind of something going on. Because it was kind of intermittent, then I could kind of hear, then it wouldn't go. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to let this double check and make sure there's no corroded components in here. I think it looks super clean, though. Like I said, I hardly use it, so. All right, so the ultrasonic clean the face of it. Uh, Let's see here. It's been a couple hours since I've gone. So it looks like the dioxide that was there, it went down in there. Um, let me put a little more in there. All right, let's see if this thing works. Real audio. Kind of works. Hmm. That's really interesting. Look at that oscillator right there. Look how it's mounted. Um, and then I touch it and it kind of like, I feel like there's just some loose solder joint there. Well, I'm 
I'll take this board out, check the solder joints. What's up with that? It's a trip. I don't know, I mean, that's, I mean, they definitely put it close to that capacitor right there. All right, check that out. That oscillator is grounded in on that cap right there. And that's hilarious. You know, it might be a solder joint. Yeah, I'm kind of messing with it. It kind of went on and off. See that? What's going on with this thing? Do I have to restart that CP down there? Whatever that processor is? Yeah, I don't think I've seen anybody or any video on YouTube that shows this thing taken apart and being fixed. Because it probably doesn't make sense to pay somebody to fix it. Um, this is about personal radio, so it doesn't matter how much time I spend on it. Alright, so those are your speaker wires coming down. Um, is something grounding out? Like, what's the story? Alright, that's the audio jack. You can see all the dioxide I was putting on there trying to get it clean. So I'm going to just, I'm going to hit this. Oh man, it's all service mount stuff. Yeah, I feel like there's something loose, you know. I'm just tapping, tapping away at it, you know. And, okay, then you have your little heat sink right there. I'm just going to try to hit... Since I had to sort of put it back together to test it, you know, to have the front panel on it, so I don't know, man. I don't know how I can get this radio fixed again because I kind of really like the radio. It's I like how you can actually monitor four different channels right on the front of it. Um, pretty cool. I like it though. So, all right, so I solder whatever. I mean, all the obvious larger joints. I can't really get these super, you know, like the surface mount stuff. Um, you can, but I mean, I do actually have a. One of these like little digital, you know, microscope things, but still, man, that, that requires like insane, like steady hands. All right, take a look. I I think I traced it to this. That's an audio amplifier right there. Actually, I might even have a couple of those on one of my my old CBs. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as the antenna. My screwdriver in my hand. Watch this. I'm trying to reach around the tripod here. So, is it not getting ground? What's up with that? So, I don't know if it's the frequency crystal, oscillator, uh, or that thing, but now it, it works. So, um, let's back on here. Yeah, I went through and I soldered like everything. I kind of looked a little sketchy. So I got to put down, I guess that's the power MOSFET transfer. This the main thing under this heat thing with the fan on it. So I got to put that back on there and um, this could go down like that. But um, so yeah, I'm glad because I mean, there's some sketchy soldering on here. So you can see where they fixed a lot of things like with the surface panel components, that, that thing I showed you earlier. Yeah, I think that was on purpose. That wasn't like a spill piece of like solder blob or something. Um, all right, so I'll do some audio test and uh, I'm gonna put it back together and uh, see if it's fixed. All right, even though I actually it seems like it's work, I decided to redo the the audio IC with some um, some flux, like get better solder on it, just because it's gonna go in this Bronco and it's gonna be you know I'm going off road and things. So, so yeah, so if you're not familiar with my channel, it's a 1966 Bronco. Uh, I was saying I have one in this car and one in the F-250 right there. So, um, all right, we're back in business. Stoked. Save me about a hundred bucks.